And Tasha, people say, yeah. you've had a boob job? Yeah. Uh, when you were 15, you had a boob job? Yeah, I get comments every day. She's had a boob job and she lies about it. You haven't had any surgery on your, on your body at all, have no, you? No, I, I don't have a boob job. I don't yeah. have butt implants. No no I fat injections that. anywhere? Or no, no fat injections. No fat injections anymore. to get out? No, full no. natty, full natty, bruh. Not that we're against plastic surgery, no. but now this physique here, head to toe, natural. No, I'm, I'm not against cosmetic surgery or enhancements. If you decide to get that, then yeah. that's fine. That's your choice. It doesn't make you a bad person. Mm. But I just don't have respect for the influences that lie about getting work done yeah just so they can sell products all right to impressionable audience fair enough so on the record no, no injections in your face no surgery top to toe all natural no. all right no okay. boob job nothing no. done so we're clear so natasha what do you think about midfoot cleat just a quick one minute video midfoot cleats midfoot cleats are my new favorite setup yeah i feel no more toe numbness yep i feel less strain in my knees yeah and i feel more power through my glutes really Okay, so you just turn around and just show us the, show us the, uh, okay, so it's right at the, right at the bottom there, at the bottom of the, of the so at the, yeah, mid, almost in the midfoot there, so you've drew yeah. it about, who did those for you? Uh, Steve Hogg in Canberra. Steve Hogg, the legend, yeah. yeah. So would, so it wasn't, you weren't doing it because I said you should do it and stay at it, you just, you tried it, you, you no, tried I my thought, shoes, didn't you? I, I actually have to start pestering you, like, come on, let's get this going, because I, I used Harley shoes, but they're, Two and a half size is too big. Yeah. <laughs> but I liked how Harley spelled. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna try this. So yeah. I've got two pairs of uh, shoes, cycling yep. shoes. I've got mountain bike and gravel. These yeah. Gravel. Yeah. So I haven't had it done on my mountain bike yet. I thought I'll just get one done, see how it goes. I really like it, and I'm gonna get my mountain bike shoes done eventually yeah. as well. Yeah. We do have some plates coming from a guy in Switzerland. I forget his name. What does that mean? Neil's. They're like an adapter plate. You can go under, so you don't have to drill the shoe out. You can just try that, and it's oh, like really? a two more stack, I think. Yeah. So we'll I really. Those. And to me, it's uh, it's natural because when I ride in sneakers, the pedal is always bam, smack in the middle. Of yeah, my foot. that's right. I don't ride on my forefoot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Those shoes, they're ones that Katie gave you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Katie Kookaburra. Those are from Katie Kookaburra. And they who, were a size too small. For her. Yeah, Sh Shimano, because <laughs> she's a she's a, a Shimano sponsor right now, and uh, I got Katie on YouTube back in 2012. So then. Katie's doing really well on YouTube. She might have give her some shoes that wrong size, and then Katie gives them to Natasha, and it's just like the cycle of like the good times, you know? Yeah. It's really cool. But they're a good shoe. They're the RX8, are they? The RX8. RX8. It's lighter than the XC9s. Oh, yeah. And the other one's the XC9s, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, the, the, the gravel shoe has less tread, and yeah. it's lighter. Yeah. But, uh, performance, power wise, they feel both. What do you think? Um, I can feel that they're lighter. You prefer that light feeling? Yes. Yeah, okay. Very good. All right, no, fantastic. Like All right, very good. So midfoot, try it before you deny it. Mm -hmm. Question, I'm not sure if I said it. Yeah. Would you ever go back to normal, normal? No. Fall of foot? No. no. <laughs> when I put on my mountain bike shoes, which are full of foot. Oh, that's right. So even though my mountain bike shoes are slammed as far down as they'll go, they're still full of foot. Yeah. I put them on, I feel like I'm just like pedaling in my toes. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think if you, if you like time trials or triathlons or hill climbs. Yeah. Midfoot's the way to go. And uh, when I first got these Harley, said, you know, you'll need a few rides before you get used to them. But on the first ride, I was like, nah, this is it. Yeah. Like, I'm used to this already. All right. I think because you're a ballet dancer background, you know, you've got that coordination of your feet and you got used to it real quick. And that helps a lot. Yeah, you know, I'm a bit goofy, you know, and I, it took me a while <laughs> to... your foot hits your front Yeah, the, the overlap, I was a bit like, you know, what's going on there? But you got it really quick. Yeah. You know, very good. Yeah. Awesome.